said he had a knack for refuse. He's the hungry ferret. Hi, everybody. So today I have the Carrick 2.0 K575 Plus. Before we start, I would like to thank Influencer and Carrick. I received these products complimentary from Influencer for testing purposes. Thanks for making this video possible. The K575 Plus is a premium model within the Carrick 2.0 line. This particular machine is able to identify seven different types of pods. It has an 80 ounce water reservoir, features the ultimate Carrick, which is customization to each individual pod. This box also includes a water filter. Carrick is very popular among many brands and also hosts different pods from different manufacturers. The machine is able to determine the pod in use and determine the proper settings, along with a custom setting. These pods all feature different designs and amount of coffee. So let's take a look at what's in the box. You have the actual brewer, detachable drip tray, cleaning pod, this is to clean the nozzle, instruction manual, and a water filter module, and a water filter. So let's get started. First thing first, you gotta take out the shipping disc. Next is to fill the reservoir with water. On the reservoir, there's a minimum amount for the carafe and an overall max. Before you start using, you have to run the machine a couple of times. This is to clean out everything. Once you have done that, you can install the water filter. On the holder itself, there's a setting to remind you when to change the filter. It's every two months. To install the water filter is easy. Just pop off the bottom piece, place the filter the flat side down, and put the holder over it. Make sure it's secure and snap into the base of the reservoir. And it should look like this. And don't forget to set the water filter reminder. After that, the machine is going to fill and preheat. So the machine also dispenses just plain hot water. And right off the bat, in a cold cup, it gets about 175 degrees. So we did this a couple times to preheat the glass and also the water. And now we're making the first K-cup of coffee. You could select the different sizes, but we're going to go with the default setting. To start, just hit the flashing button. In a preheated cup, we notice that the coffee comes out at 178 degrees. So let's take an up-close look of the K-cup. It punches a hole on top, so you got to be careful. And it also punches an exit hole on the bottom. Just be mindful there's a little piece in the craft. For the machine to detect the craft, it has to be inserted in. And we're going to insert a cake carafe. And we hit start. The machine does know when there's not enough water to make a craft, so it'll warn you. So all we have to do is just refill the reservoir. And due to editing magic, that's pretty quick. And we start the process again.
you're going to get this animation during the brew process. A couple of minutes later, you get a craft full of coffee. The coffee quality is very similar to a K-cup. The next test is with the My K-cup. I was able to insert 13.8 grams. And notice there is a max line. I basically just inserted it and started with the default settings. The My K-cup allows you to use your own custom coffee blend. Roughly there's around 9 to 10 grams within a normal K-cup. It's different for each brand and type. You have the My K-Cup to the left and the K-Pod to the right. Also, this machine also makes tea. So I inserted an English breakfast pod here. You could set the size, but we decided to go with the default. And here's the result of the tea. There's no grit or settlement. This machine is actually pretty good at making tea. It's very clean, and it tasted like the extraction was done properly. Here's a side-by-side -side of all the coffee that was made in this machine. So the first one is the K-Cup without the water filter. The water is from New York City, so it's not that hard. It has a nice coffee aroma. There's slight bitterness and a little sourness. Overall, it tastes like freshly brewed coffee. It's definitely drinkable black. It tastes all right. There's not that many dimensions to it. The second one is the K-Cup with the filter. The taste is very close to the first one. I can't really say I could tell the difference. The third one's from a K-Carafe. This one's made with eight o'clock coffee. It's a little more bitter. I would add a little bit more cream and sugar to this one. The fourth one is my favorite. I used a high quality bean, and also I put more amount of coffee. But obviously this is gonna be a winner. You can taste the difference. It's not bitter, it's not too sour, it's smooth. In a way, I cheated. Pod's been sitting around for a while, it's not going to be freshly ground and freshly roasted beans. Especially the beans here are special beans. But I still use the K-Cups because they're convenient. There's some mornings which I just don't want to deal with the hassle. I wouldn't say I'm a coffee snob. I drink stuff from the bodega. The K-Cup is definitely better than that. If you are a busy person, you don't have that much time, or you don't have the patience to make high quality coffee, such as pour overs, then this cup is perfectly fine for you. If I haven't noticed a taste test, some people can't even really tell the difference. So it's come down to you as a person. When you get a chance, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.